in Nebraska, you can see a long way in all directions. And yet there are still some things you never see coming. When his son Jack was born, Andy Hoffman saw colors, scarlet and cream. That's the first thing any, any Nebraska dad thinks of when they have a son is, cool, you know, we can go to Husker games together. In this state, the two most important words besides John Deere are Husker football. By wins and winning percentage, Nebraska is the winningest college football program of the last 50 years. But on the morning of April 22, 2011, football was the last thing on Andy Hoffman's mind. Jack, then just five years old, was sitting at the breakfast table when he became unresponsive. And I just kept getting right up in his face and I clapped my hand, you know, right in, right in front of his nose, you know, Jack, Jack. And finally, and I was clapping as loud as I could, yelling his name as loud as I could, and just nothing. They didn't know it at the time, but Jack was in the middle of a massive seizure. He was rushed to the hospital in his hometown of Atkinson and then transferred four hours away to Children's Hospital in Omaha. I didn't know if he would make it to Omaha, you know, went to the hospital. He survived the night, but doctors gave the Hoffmans a devastating diagnosis. Jack had to undergo surgery for a malignant tumor near his brain stem. There's nothing worse than watching your five-year-old boy being wheeled down the hall to brain surgery. I mean, it's, it's absolutely gut-wrenching. For the next several months, there were more seizures, a second surgery, and the intense chemotherapy made Jack feel sick. Then I started taking these three pills six hours a day, and it, it kind of helped me not puke. It was between surgeries when the Hoffmans wanted to do something special for Jack to lift his spirits. We reached out to the university to see if Jack could meet Rex Burkhead, um, you know, his favorite football player at the time. Uh, just thought that would be something nice to do for Jack. The Huskers not only opened their doors, they opened their hearts. Jack and Rex Burkhead, the former running back, became fast friends and by extension, an honorary member of the team. They've made him feel so, so welcome. You know, he does actually kind of feel like he's part of the, part of the team. What's up, Jack? Every time Jack was up to it, the Hoffmans made the three hour drive up, to Lincoln Jack? so that he could see the Huskers play. He even led the team out of the tunnel in their 2012 game against Wisconsin. He embodies uh, what Nebraska football is all about. Uh, toughness, uh, character, class, uh, perseverance. Then, almost two years since Jack had suffered that first seizure, the Hoffmans were sitting at home when they got a call the night before the spring game. I just wanted it to come off the right way and make sure that it was a good moment for Jack. Head coach Bo Pelini and his staff asked Jack to suit up and play it down with the 2013 Huskers. He announced it to the team in the locker room before the spring game. He brought Jack in and he said, uh, um, you know, you guys all know Jack. Um, this is one of the toughest kids in the entire state. Um, you know, well today, he's gonna suit up for the Cornhuskers and he's gonna score a touchdown. And the players just erupted. It is Jack Hoffman of Team Jack coming out of the field right now. There's fourth down and short. With less than eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Jack was lining up behind quarterback Taylor Martinez, 69 yards from the end zone. He'd been briefed on the play. He got some words of advice from his dad. So I'll tell you what, Jack, don't stop running until you hit the fence. I said, just run until you hit the fence. The play actually got off to a rocky start. Right when I stopped the ball, he ran the wrong way, and I was kind of grabbed them and moved them back the other way. Gives it to Jack. Blockers just started to go a little wrong way, then I turned. He's got blockers out in front. Put him around the corner and he's gone. Yeah. And he goes. running to midfield. Listen to this crowd. And then I just scored and touched down. By the time Jack made his mad dash down the sideline and all the way to the end zone, 60,000 people were celebrating. Oh, wow. What a moment. And both benches. 
empty. It was at that moment where I just lost it. I mean, I lost my composure. I, I just lost it. That, that was a moment right there. Wow, goosebumps. Been in Memorial Stadium a lot of times. I mean, it was put uh, goosebumps uh, on you that day. We got a star in our presence, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Since then, Jack has become a celebrity of sorts. He wanted to come share his ESPY with you guys. He not only won an ESPY award, he even got to meet President Obama. He's pretty tall. He's pretty tall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the family is now running toward another end zone, putting a stop to pediatric brain cancer. Raising money and you know, raising awareness for the disease is part of our treatment plan. Jack still faces an uphill battle, but thanks to that second surgery, he no longer has seizures, and the chemo has shrunk what's left of the tumor. Just kind of live life one day at a time, one MRI at a time. We usually look up to our role models, but in Lincoln, they look down to a little boy fighting cancer. When our players step back and see the strength that so, you know, a young man like Jack's able to show and, and the fight that he shows on a daily basis, it, you know, it's a, it, is, it serves as a great example for everyone. And one thing is clear, in his continuing battle with this terrible disease, Jack Hoffman will never be alone. We came out of that experience um, having a whole new appreciation and respect for Nebraska football.